In this gray log feature video, I want to go over extended search. Extended search can be found underneath the enterprise menu in the first option. You'll notice that the time frame has not changed. You still have the ability to pick relative times or absolute. So if I want to keep this the last five minutes, but this next column over here is what's new. This lets you pick individual streams to filter your logs. So I'm going to start off on the AWS flow logs. You'll notice that all the data below it's changed. And then I want to add a few new widgets up top here. So with flow data, maybe I'm interested in the different cities that I've, I'm talking to. So my destination city, I want to go ahead and aggregate that. You'll see that it puts a widget over here with breakdown of each individual city that my data has come from. And maybe from a second data set, I also want to look for uh, destination ports. There's different ports that have been talking into my AWS infrastructure. So I'm going to aggregate that one as well. These widgets are movable, so you can click on them and drag them around. And I want to make this a little more colorful. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that and maybe make it a bar ch uh, pie chart in this case. So here you can see quickly what the percentages of the ports that are in use. And then go ahead and save that. Now I can also add second tabs here now. So the first tab was around flow data. This second tab I want to keep on AWS, but I want to look at the CloudTrail logs. So inside of CloudTrail, I want to look for the different regions that have happened. Multiple regions in AWS, I kind of want to see which one's my most utilized. And by doing that, here you can see I have some east and west traffic. But I also want to create a way to quickly filter this upon entering this whole dashboard. And that's what we have parameters for. So new in version 3.0, you can add parameters around here. So maybe I say AWS region. And then I want to go ahead and make a variable on that. Just call it AWS and put a dollar sign there. And once I hit enter, you'll see this undeclared parameters comes up. You can describe this in a little more detail than just AWS. But if I click submit there, it's going to give you a prompt up top here. And now if I want to come here and just focus on the, the US West logs, I can type in that region and I want to hit enter. Everything else below it gets filtered. This is a nice way to create a standardized dashboard. If you do investigations, maybe around IP addresses or host names or usernames, you can have that parameter up top. And every time you come back in here, you can enter that and all your little widgets below will quickly filter. Once you're done with this search, you can then save that off and it will then show up in your views, which is described in another feature video. Thank you for watching.